3.1. Limits of functions when you use a numerical method and a graphical method. Numerical simply means that we'll be using our graphing calculators to produce the answers. So let's take a look at a um, function here, which is f of x equals x squared plus 4 all over x minus 2. We want to evaluate this function for x equals 0, which means that 0 will go in for x we'll find the value. Here you can see that x 0 squared plus 4 is 4, 0 minus 2 is minus 2, this will be 4 over negative 2, which ends up being negative 2. We're going to use our calculators to get that answer. On your calculator, we go to the y equals button, and for the numerator, we'll have a parenthesis, so parenthesis, x squared plus 4, to, then you close the numerator with a parenthesis, then division, and for the denominator you open a parenthesis, parenthesis, x minus 2, and then the denominator we close the parenthesis. This goes in for our equation under y equals. Then we press the trace button. From the trace button, we now have 0, input 0, and then enter. Here, we'll get y equals, or the value for this function is negative 2. Okay. Now, this was the evaluation of x equals 0. Now, let's look at the approximation of x equals 0 from the right. Okay. When we approach we approach x equals 0 from the right, from the right, we'll be using x equals 0 0.1, because 0.1 is to the right of 0. We'll also use 0 0.01, which is also to the right, but closer to 0. And finally, we're going to use 0 0.001, which is on the right of 0, but even closer to 0 than 0 0.01. We're going to put all three of these into our calculators to find the value. So, with the function still in here, we're going to press point 0.1, enter, and this will give us negative 2.111. Now I press point 0.1, enter, and I get negative 2.010. I type in point 0.001, and I now have negative 2.001. This, when um, the input approaches x equals 0, the output is approaching negative 2. So we say the output from x approaching 0 from the right is negative 2. Now let's look at the output of approaching x is 0 from the left. Now we're going to use numbers to the left of 0, which will be negative 0.1. Negative 0.01 is on the left, but even closer to 0. And negative 0.001, which is on the left of 0, but even closer. So let me type in negative 0.1, enter, and I get negative 1.9. 1, 0. Now I type in negative 0 0.01, enter. I have negative 1.990. I type in negative 0 0.001, enter. 
and I now get negative 1.999. This rounds eventually to a negative 2. So we can conclude that as x approaches 0 from the left, our value is approaching negative 2. So we use negative 2 as the solution. Okay. All right. Let's do this once again. Okay, now, let's take a look at the same function, but we're going to evaluate it for 2. Approach 2 from the right and approach 2 from the left. Okay, so, we're going to type in trace and x equals 0. And this will be for our evaluation. Sorry. x equals 2. This will be for the evaluation. So I press 2 and enter, and I get an error. So this is undefined. So there's no solution for that. Okay, part B. Let's approach x equals 2 from the right. So this means the number to the right of 2 would be 2.1. 2.01, even closer to 2 on the right, and finally 2.001. So I'll put those numbers in. 2.1, enter, and we get 84.1. 2.01, and I get now 804.1. And finally, I put in 2.001 and enter, and I get 8,401. Okay, these numbers are getting larger and larger. When you're getting larger and larger in a positive direction, we say that the limit for this, as we approach 2 from the right, is positive infinity. As we approach 2 from the right, the answer is positive infinity. We evaluate um, for 2, it's no solution. Now, let's approach from the left. From the left, we'll use x equals 1.9, and even closer to 2 on the left would be x equals 1.99, even closer, 1.999. Okay, so. 1.9, enter, we get negative 76.1, and 1.99, enter, I get negative 796.01, and let's get 1.999, enter, I get negative 7,996.001. Okay, this number is getting larger and larger, but negative. So it's going to negative infinity. So, as x approaches 2 from the left, our, our answer is negative infinity. Okay, example number 3. The function is now x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2. So now we have to retype the problem in. So y equals, open parenthesis for the numerator, x squared minus 4, close parenthesis for the numerator, division, open parenthesis for the denominator, x minus 2, close parenthesis for the denominator. And we'll start off with evaluating this function for x equals 2. So x equals 2, 